What's up guys, this is Transair3 coming to you again with another Transformers Combiner Wars review. And today we're taking a look at the new Legion size wind charger. And there he is in his nice muscle car mode. Very awesome. Which I do believe it is a repaint of Tailgate with the the Target Master thing. Yeah. So yeah. So we got wind charger. So yeah. Also, another big th thanks to my good friend Jason at Dub K Toys. I'll have a link down in the description below. He has this whole wave of figures available. So, very awesome guy to deal with at Dub K Toys. So, yeah, very cool. So, thank you, Jason. Two thumbs up. Thank you. Dub K Toys rule. Yeah. So, yeah. Comes with a nice collector card. Got wind charger looking like I'm going to kill you. And he really don't look like that. Yeah. And look at the box art and look at the card. Completely different looking. It's like, hey, my name should have been Sideswipe. <laughs> uh, yeah. But again, what could you do? So, regular generations cardboard collector car, which is nice. They're doing these still. So, set that off to the side. So him off to the side. It's a really bugs me because he don't come with a weapon. He has a weapon port here, but he does not come with a weapon. Okay. So you got Combiner Wars. Transformers Generation. Nice artwork there. It's like, I'm going to get you. Grab you out of the box. It says include a collector card. One charger. Transformers on the side there. Authentic. Transformers, it says. And you got Combiner Wars, one charger, his one sentence bio. Captures and controls targets with ultra powerful magnetic fields. Okay. And you got three other languages, which is cool, but again, what could you do? So, changes in 10 steps. You got product shots of them. Very cool. And then we got the sad child back down here. Yep. And you got authentic once again. Or I do believe that's just generations. Yeah, generations on the front. So, my bad guys, but that does say authentic Hasbro merchandise. So, enough said, that is the packaging. Moving right along, we got Wind Charger in his vehicle mode. Very cool looking sports, sports muscle car, whatever you want to call it. I think it's a muscle car. So, yeah, very cool. He rolls pretty good. Yeah. So, size comparison wise. Let's bring in an old figure of mine I had for a long, long time. I do believe his name was Ironhide in the R.I.D. series. I put some real rims on him. Very cool looking. So, Spy Changer. So, you got the old Spy Changer. And you got the Legion size figure. So, yeah, very cool. Set that off to the side. And why not? Let's just bring in Bumblebee. Yeah. <laughs> Masterpiece Bumblebee. So. So, yeah, very cool. Set Bumblebee off to the side. Look at the details on him. Very nice silver paint added to him. Very cool. Wish the rims were, were painted silver. But again, what could you do, guys? So, yeah, you got a nice big old exhaust on the back going. Very cool. I really dig that. So, yeah, very cool. Now, transformation-wise for him, first thing you want to do is grab the side panels. Like so. And I know, visible head syndrome. Yeah. First thing you want to do, rotate the legs out. Rotate them out to the sides like so. Pull the front of the car apart. Rotate this top of the hood up. Rotate his legs. This piece will become his crotch piece. Rotate his legs around. 
and grab his hands like so and there we have wind charger in his robot mode so yeah very cool adjust my camera for you so yeah very cool looking dude very nice very nice paint apps going on with him nice Autobot logo there very nice head sculpt looks G1 so yeah the G1ers would be happy I mean G1ers will be happy so yeah he got a little bit of a backpack which is cool but yeah overall articulation wise he can move his arm all the way around till you get to the part here it'll catch just a little bit he has an elbow joint it's on a swivel you can on a ball joint but you can't really you're limited legs all the way around if you want to out you can rotate these any way you want them if you want if you want to give it that look put the tire up above which is pretty cool looking actually kind of digs it for me so yeah very cool so so yeah size comparison wise let's bring in his buddy power glide so, yeah. About the same size. And Thundercracker. Look at all of them. They look very cool together. So, yeah. Very cool. So. Enough said. But... Yeah, I highly recommend picking this guy up if you're a G1 person. If you want to try to collect your G1 versions of these guys. Which is very cool that they're releasing in the Combiner Wars. So, I can't can't wait. So, yeah, very cool. But he can fit his weapons just like the other figures can. So, about the same size hole for the weapons. Very cool. So... This is Trans Air 38 reviewing the new Transformers Combiner Wars Legends Class Wind Charger. And this is Trans Air 38 talking to you again. Don't forget to rate and subscribe and comment and, and share my reviews whenever you decide to. But check me out on Twitter, follow me on Twitter, and also Instagram, all that good stuff. And don't forget to check out Dub K Toys. I will have a description down below for you to click it and go to his website and check out all the awesome stuff he got so yeah so this is trans 38 talk to you again have an awesome day